Hey everyone, Steve Kim here. It's about a half an hour before my exam at ARIA. You can see it right there as a bunch of people are coming in now, but I'm just doing some last minute cramming uh, right now. So I definitely, as I'm sitting here in my car reviewing my notes a half an hour before my exam, it made me think a lot about my former students um, and kind of the preparation that they took um, with regards to getting prepared for some of the tests and assessments that I had. So uh, I know this is bittersweet for a lot of you. You probably like watching uh, your former teacher cram and um, get prepared for an exam, but I'm pretty excited uh, and I'm hoping it should go well. So I put in the work, so we'll see what the results are, but stay tuned to see if, uh, if I pass, whether, uh, whether or not I pass. Take care guys. Hey everyone, Steve Kim here, just standing inside of Cosmo Music in the heart of Richmond Hill. Uh, it's an exciting day, gonna do a little bit of shopping, need a new podcast mic as I'm having some guests come on to the podcast. So what better place than to come to Cosmo? And they have a new Starbucks in here, which is amazing. So really, really excited. Makes me miss my old DJing days. Love it. Hey everyone, Steve Kim here from Royal Page, just standing inside of my newest listing uh, in the heart of Toronto. Great family friendly neighborhood, close to some fantastic schools, amazing restaurants. There's an amazing faux place, spa place, sorry, uh, right down the road here that I did a foodie Friday on. Uh, it's just an exceptionally built home. It's an older home, but it's very much well loved. One owner, um, and it's just in a fantastic neighborhood. So uh, the stager came through, the photographer came through, the videographer came through, uh, just getting uh, the house prepped the last uh, steps. Uh, to get this house ready. So I'm gonna go around, uh, double check all of the measurements uh, for all the room dimensions, and this should be on MLS in just a matter of a few hours. Anyways, I hope everyone's enjoying their day. As always, be great, be kind. Hey everyone, Steve Kim here. Uh, really, really excited uh, at having um, someone I actually connected on Instagram with, Stefano from TTL Films, Through the Lens. Uh, you gotta check him out uh, on Instagram. Got a great page. Uh, excited to have him as kind of the first guest on the podcast. So um, just to kind of have him come speak his truth about entrepreneurship, how he gets he got started in the business, uh, and some of the struggles that he kind of faced and how he kind of persevered through that. So really, really excited. Uh, I got my setup right here with my list of questions, um, but <clears throat> just, I wanted to take this time just to tell people just how truly thankful I am for a lot of the wonderful comments I've been getting um, with just kind of everything I've been doing on social media, uh, just really wanting to highlight the, the, the truth, the behind the scenes, the struggles, the wins, all of that stuff. Um, with regards to this journey that I'm on uh, and then this journey that I know very well is going to be many many years many many years and many many struggles and wins and fails and, and all that stuff but um, I'm thankful for all of this and that's really what I'm trying to get at uh, just thankful for everyone's time comments shares and likes and everything so I just hope everyone's staying blessed have a great week and a great day everyone take care bye-bye Hey everyone, Steve Kim here from Marilla Page. It is a beautiful Saturday, chilly afternoon. Great Canadian spring weather, zero degrees Celsius. Uh, but it's day one of my open house of my newest listing, hashtag grandma's house. So uh, I've been getting some fantastic comments and feedback and DMs from a lot of people through Instagram and Facebook who actually like the video. They thought it was just kind of a lighthearted spin um, on kind of the traditional listing video. And if you know me at, well, well enough at this point, I just don't do anything very traditional. Uh, so you know what, it's been fantastic and thank you so much for everyone who's watched, who's shared, who's liked and who's commented on the listing video. It truly means the world to me and I, it, it just makes me wanna up my game, uh, my listing videos uh, more and more uh, moving forward. But you know what, just getting everything prepped, ready to go, do a kind of a quick little walkthrough through the property, uh, swiffer around, make sure that the, the home smells uh, nice and fresh. So I got the air fresheners out. I got my setup over there with the iPad sign in with some snacks but all the lights are on my signage is out uh, and this is an exciting exciting kind of market in that you know what uh, we've had 17 showings in in less than 24 hours and I suspect that this property is gonna go on multiple offers and here's a little tip I didn't position this house in multiple offers we actually set the list price 
uh, a little bit higher than the most recent sold comparable. So just to kind of kind of uh, capture, push a little bit harder to see if we're able to kind of set the record on the street. And really ultimately that's my goal is to kind of break the record on the street. So um, you know what? Wish me luck, I'm gonna push forward and we'll kind of wish that the best comes out of this. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we got people coming through already, which is amazing. Really, really excited. Uh, I'm calling a client right now. Uh, the, she is the power of attorney of a home that I have listed, uh, but I'm calling her with some fantastic news in that we are in multiple offers. So uh, she'd be really, really happy to hear this. So uh, we had one offer on the table and now I managed to get two more offers on the table. So we are wow. right now, we have three offers on the table. We are in a multiple offer situation. I'm just now gonna go approach all of the three other agents and ask for them to submit their best and final. Uh, okay. So really what's gonna have to happen is everyone's gonna have to come up a little bit on price. Everyone may have to tighten up their conditions. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, and that's how you do it. Just being honest and kind. And when negotiating with the other with the other agents, I'm gonna be honest, This it, it's all about collaboration. It's not this competitive, like I need to beat another agent. Really, at the end of the day, we're solely focused on providing the best, the best, best service to our clients and being able to convey that with the other agent. And I know we're trying to, we're quasi competing with one another, right? We want the highest price, they want the lowest price. I get it, but when you can col work collaboratively, both parties are gonna win. And so uh, with the other three agents, they're amazing. Really, really great to work with. Um, so we're in a really great position, but as much as we're in a great position in multiple offers, I do feel bad because someone tonight, two parties tonight right now, are gonna go home without a, are, are gonna walk away from this bargaining without a home. The GoPro just fell on the, uh, the bottom of the floor. But anyways, um, it's all about multiple offer situations and really being able to navigate not only price because a lot of people just are firmly rooted in their, or sorry, their decisions are firmly rooted in that, that like end price. You got to really pay attention to the conditions as well. Um, so one of the offers that we did end up getting, um, it's a good price, right? Full price, full offer, um, but the conditions are long. And so because of that, if we accept that, the potential is, is that maybe the deal might fall through and then we lose a little bit of traction because we've given them, you know, essentially two weeks, 10 business days for them to fulfill the particular condition. So let's see how this works out. But you know what? Uh, I'm excited to see what the three offers kind of are when they come back to us. Um, but anyways, uh, it's an exciting one day on the market, uh, close to 20 showing, so fantastic. Uh, as always, be great, be kind. And there it is, I fly, really excited for a birthday party. Are you excited? Yeah. There we go. It's just me having to grab onto. Yeah. When she gets it once. Yeah. <laughs> she just has to, yeah. <laughs> you have to get the hang of it, you know? Yeah. I want him to let go. There we go. Yes. Yes. Good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 